What is happening, guys? Welcome back to the cathedral. Managed to cheese our way past that bullshit. We're right where we left off. We're gonna... You know what? Let me just do this. Now I'll wait for Axe Guy to come. And... Boom! In the bump. That did exactly. Scruff, when successful, functions as a headshot, inflicting heavy damage. Okay. Stop. Headshot. You know what? It does feel slightly unfair, though, because if you notice, the, uh, the burn damage doesn't affect me at all. It just affects them. It looks really shiny. Hang on. I, I gotta check. I gotta... Oh, shit. Yeah, so the Hexer set was in Dark Souls 3, but it was cut content. Because I look... I mean, I'm gonna be honest. My dude looks like he was slathered in fucking oil. I mean, I probably won't use the armor that long because of that. I look like oily man. Like, yeah, I'm ready for some pancreton. Pancratian. Let's go. I'm all oiled up. Give me some men to grease up and wrestle with. Let's do it. I'm a greasy, fiery lad. I'm ready. I was born ready. I was born for it. Let's do it. Actually, you know what? You know what? Let me be smart before I go rummaging around with giants and all sorts of other bullshit. <laughs> Sitting on 30,000 souls. Let's, let's go back home and spend them. And... Welcome, husband. Very well. Um, I don't know when the next spell I'm gonna get is, but I feel like I should hit the three attunement, so let's do that. And then I think... I think I'm just gonna focus on that up. I like him even. Um, but I do think I'm gonna focus on Endurance and Vigor here on out. At least for a bit. Because I'm definitely, I'm definitely at a point where I'm struggling in terms of my health pool. I mean, I'm getting through it, but like, damn, I died a lot last episode. And oh my god, that just reminded me. Hold up. All that death. I... I can probably get some free levels from uh, Duke Road. That's okay. Two free levels is more health. I like health. I want to find the, the big shit, like soul dregs, the soul edge sword. I feel like when I get a hold of a Dark Edge, that's gonna be, that's gonna pretty be a boss killer, along with uh, Great Soul Dregs. I have a feeling that is gonna do some major damage. I could also go uh, the Dark Pyro route, you know, Black Flame and all that jazz, but I don't know. 
You know, on one hand, I'm like, yeah, that'd be cool. On the other, I'm like, eh, it's not really needed. It's always slightly annoying to manage swapping between your casting and your glove, you know? I sentence you to die. Faith. But he need that shard. That's nice. That's kind of. If I'm finding large shards, that means I'm probably not going to be finding many more regular Titanite, and I still need to upgrade my scythe. But hopefully that shit goes. Oh, you. Off of me! Shit. I just realized that in everything I did, I forgot to burn my, uh. Forgot to burn my damn. Ow! My bone shard. Hammer. Oh my god, please sir, stop! Dead. No, I'm not. I hide back in here? Oh my god, it's not safe back in here! Oh my god, the archer too! No! Please stop, sir! Please, 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 please! Oh! Oh, god damn. Go down here. Yeah, I guess the... Uh, I don't know. It kind of starts at the chest. What do you think? Is it considered a head? Or would you not consider it a head? Would you just consider it like an amorphous portion of the Mimic's body? These are the real questions you should be asking. I hope there's like a magical ring I can find that's like... Drastically increases the, uh, uh, appears in retaliation. Applies magic damage to enemies hit whilst rolling. Oh! Huh. Is Flynn still useful at all? No, it's not. Oh, hey. Hey, Bertha. Bertha. Calm down. Damn! That's some serious damage on the roll. And you know what? I know they reworked uh, thorns to the thorn set. Imagine using thorns with that thing. Just 100% rolly boy. You just kill people via rolls. Where, where was that dickhead archer? I guess he dropped. I could literally just be like, boop, 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 boop. I wonder if it's scaling so high because... Oh, shit! Ah. Fuck. Fucking fuck. Got, I climbed up a ladder. That's okay, we can just sprint through and get right back to where we were. Not a big loss, minus the, uh, the health, but hey, I spent some on Vigor, so my health's higher than it was. But yeah, man, that, that dark... Of this stuff isn't getting touched at all. You're not getting touched. You no. no. Be there. There we go. Let's do that. Not the way I want to go. No, that's right. That's for like the... Wait, I did take an elevator, didn't I? Yeah. I just didn't send it back down. I 
I'm just glad I have a weapon that I'm really doing some work with, because, I mean, as much as I like the dark build so far, to be frank, standing around the whole playthrough just spamming Pursuing Soul does get a little cheesy after a while, so. Having a, uh, having more and more ways to do damage is always a plus in my eyes. Got our Super Scythe, we got our, our Quickness. <laughs> that is, that's really goofy, like I'm liking it a lot, but damn. That is, I, I don't know, I wonder, I really do think it's because I'm, uh, I am a dark build. Oh, retaliation enchantment. Applies magic damage to enemies hit while rolling. We're known for the agile style of sword fighting. Such rings allowed even their subtle movements to help in their fight against the dark. This had to be like cut content. Nah, this dude is just writing some fucking good descriptions. Oh man, I almost did it again. I would have I would have been like, alright, episode's wrapped up here for today. Too many mistakes are being made. I need to stop playing and go get lunch. A little bastard. Ah! Ah! Ow! Oh man, that's strong. That's like almost as strong as my pursuing soul. And I know you're probably somebody's gonna be like, "Cowboy, don't use it. It's too OP." And to that, I say, "Nay." This is my God-given right. I will use the OP thing, as I am a dark build. As such, is meant for me. Come, Sir Knight. My dark will beat your holy bullshit. Bullshit's actually really strong. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, take that. Faces dark chanted. Now for this crazy thing. I think I can fight it. I think I'll be okay. The smarter dog! there, but the spider dog went down. Aldrich's Sapphire. Covers FP. Ooh. Oh. Covers FP from critical attacks. A type for flesh. I don't know if this was in the game, but, uh... Interesting. I'll put it on. Oh, it looked like my FP... Oh, no, that was my luck changing. Luck and item discovery. Um, uh, I don't know. Um, no, let's go with Estus Ring. Why not? Until I find something that like I'm really vibing with. 
Because so far, I mean, out of what we got on, this is great. Obviously a nice choice. Yes, helps. But our fourth slot's kind of up in the air, I guess you could say. should know you can't beat me, small one. Now, didn't I just use up that Estus? Is something... I know Dark Souls has that thing where like you restore Estus as you kill stuff, but... I think it was that significant. Come to do battle, Sir Knight. How do you enjoy my sight in your ass? I was really passive on the first one, and then I remember that sights innately just fuck up shields. Uh, yeah, so here we are. Take down Big Bertha, or try to at least. Ooh, that hurts. Um, I might be able to pull this off though. I need to find that boost the potency of dark. That's what I need. So I notice, um, Boy Boy never showed up. He usually comes in to attack. Um... Yeah... Do I want to take on... Yeah, let's just kill him while we're here. Just too low. I mean, this is this is dumb. I don't have the health for it. 
I can easily come back and kill this guy. Oh shit, I've never seen that before. Almost just bonked me with a giant pile of dookie. And there's still a lot more to the cathedral, and we can take that guy out um, as we make our way back to bosses. I figured I'd clear him now and get all the loot, but... You know, let's just uh, I have no Estus left, and I'm Embered. No point going on a suicide mission. The candy. Sword ring. Still function the same? That ring was always kind of mediocre. Yeah, boost and HP is full. Meh. Oh, actually, you know what? I think I will kill him. Just because looking at the time, we're already at 20 minutes. And the second half of the cathedral can easily eat through uh, an episode on its own. So... Oh, this is just the pit you can drop down in. Um, before we wrap up, let's go on and we'll take out giant number two. We'll grab all the loot surrounding him. And that'll put us in a spot where... Moving into the next episode, we can just focus on Upper Cathedral. I might even go up there and grab those treasures too, real fast. They changed the swamp too. You don't get. You're not uh, slow to a crawl anymore. Which used to be one of the, the big things that made this shit so irritating. Drang offer us now? Boosts defense, so just a solid defensive set? I can dig it. More poo poo pies? So, Hail Tongue. Hail Tongues were changed at all since you don't really do much online play. Did I look at these? Oh, yeah, just proof of invader. I mean, I guess you still need them for, uh, for respects. Come down this hallway, and I will fuck you up beyond anything you could ever imagine. You see your big dumb head stuck in the doorway, you can't even get past. I haven't seen cheesing of this caliber since the Vienna Wine and Cheese Festival of 2017. I don't even know if that's a real thing. But I figure it probably is. No. Get your broke-ass pyromancies out of here. No. Broke-ass fire sword out of here. Ooh, Cathedral Knight Greatsword. It's such a beefy, delicious weapon that I'm not going to use because I'm not bound by my destiny to strength. I have free choice. I am Scythe Dark Fireman. Something back here. It's not. Yeah, NPC summons. In row. You are dead. 
I also think part of the reason I'm having so much fun is because it has been quite a while since I've played Dark Souls 3. And like anything, you know, if you take a if you take a break from something, it always ends up being more enjoyable when you come back. Because more recently, I think the last Souls we did was uh, Daughters of Ash, which, as many of you remember, I was not a giant fan of the way that that adventure turned out. This is pretty fun, though, because this, to me, this feels like they haven't, they haven't really done too much to change the core Dark Souls 3 experience. Like, you know, we, we have, we have different paths we can take, um... Enemies have been balanced slightly differently. Items have been balanced slightly differently. But o overall, the gameplay is similar. I feel like, if anything, it's made it more into an RPG with um, you know, the way that the, the fire enchant works now and how you have set bonuses on armor. Like, I'm actually... I'm, I would say I'm probably enjoying this more than uh, OG Dark Souls. This is a lot of fun so far. So, anyway, closing on out here. Uh, we'll knock out the second half of the chapel in the next part, so stay tuned, and I will see you guys then.